Forget oil. Forget gold. In the 21st century, control of semiconductors is control of the future. The tiniest chips, smaller than a grain of sand, are powering everything from smartphones to fighter jets. And at the center of this tech showdown, one company that holds more power than any tech giant or government, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. TSMC isn't just making chips, it's making history, steering the global tech race between the United States and China. The reason semiconductors are so crucial is simple. They're the foundation of the digital age. Everything we rely on, from our personal electronics to the most advanced military systems, runs on these chips. They're often referred to as the brains of modern devices, and for good reason. In 2022, the global semiconductor market was valued at a staggering $573.44 billion, and it's expected to exceed $1 trillion by 2030. That's because the demand for these chips is growing exponentially as technology advances. Consider this. A typical smartphone contains anywhere from 50 to 150 chips, while a modern electric vehicle can have as many as 3,000. Every aspect of modern life, from communication to transportation, healthcare to national defense, is underpinned by semiconductors. According to Gordon Moore, the co-founder of Intel, semiconductors are the foundation of our digital world. Without them, the economy would grind to a halt. But semiconductors aren't just chips. They're the enablers of innovation. Breakthroughs in fields like artificial intelligence, 5G telecommunications, cloud computing, and autonomous vehicles all rely on increasingly advanced chips that are capable of faster, more complex calculations. And as these industries grow, so too does the importance of controlling chip production. As of 2023, 92% of the world's most advanced semiconductors, those below 10 nanometers, were made in Taiwan, primarily by TSMC. These advanced chips are essential for high-performance computing tasks, which means any disruption to the supply could cripple industries worldwide. When it comes to semiconductors, no company looms larger than TSMC. Headquartered in Hsinchu, Taiwan, TSMC was founded in 1987 by Morris Chang, a visionary who saw the potential of Taiwan as a global hub for semiconductor manufacturing. Unlike its competitors, TSMC chose to specialize solely in manufacturing chips for other companies rather than designing them in-house. This model, known as a pure play foundry, allowed TSMC to dominate the global market by partnering with nearly every major tech company. TSMC produces chips for Apple, AMD, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and more. If you own an iPhone, play on a PlayStation, or drive a Tesla, you're relying on chips made by TSMC. Even companies like Intel, which once dominated the semiconductor market, now rely on TSMC to manufacture their most cutting-edge designs. One of TSMC's greatest strengths is its ability to manufacture chips at incredibly small scales. Currently, they're leading the industry with 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer chips, with plans to develop 2 nanometer technology by 2025. The ability to pack billions of transistors onto a chip that's small allows for faster processing speeds and greater energy efficiency, which are essential for the next generation of AI, machine learning, and quantum computing. Let me tell you here, TSMC controls 54% of the global semiconductor foundry market, while its nearest competitors, Samsung and Global Foundries, trail far behind. But what truly sets TSMC apart is its dominance in producing the world's most advanced chips, where it commands a market share of over 92%. The global semiconductor landscape is not without its challenges. In 2020, the world experienced a rude awakening. The COVID-19 pandemic triggered a global chip shortage, creating massive disruptions across multiple industries. The root cause? 
A perfect storm of factors, surging demand for consumer electronics as people shifted to remote work and learning, supply chain bottlenecks, and factory shutdowns due to lockdowns. The shortage hit the automotive industry particularly hard. Cars today are essentially computers on wheels, requiring anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 chips. When automakers cut orders early in the pandemic, they found themselves at the back of the line when demand surged again. This led to production delays, factory closures, and billions in lost revenue. The global automotive industry alone lost an estimated $210 billion in revenue in 2021 due to this shortage. By mid-2021, car manufacturers like Ford and General Motors were forced to halt production of popular models due to chip drought. Meanwhile, gaming consoles like Sony's PlayStation 5 and graphics cards from Nvidia were impossible to find as companies struggled to meet demand. According to Pat Gelsinger, CEO of Intel, the chip shortage has been a wake-up call. We've realized that semiconductors are the foundation of the global economy, and disruption of their supply affects every industry. The chip famine also raised questions about the concentration of production. When so much of the world's supply is dependent on a single region, any disruption, whether due to natural disasters, geopolitical conflict, or supply chain issues, can send shockwaves through the global economy. Now, let's talk about the real fight. The US and China are locked in a high-stakes tech cold war, and semiconductors are at the very heart of it. The United States, once a leader in semiconductor manufacturing, has seen its share of global chip production fall from 37% in 1990 to just 12% today. Meanwhile, Taiwan and South Korea control a major share of the global semiconductor supply. This over-reliance on foreign production has raised national security concerns for the US, especially given Taiwan's proximity to China. And China, for its part, is aggressively pursuing self-sufficiency in semiconductor production. Through its Made in China 2025 initiative, the Chinese government has pledged billions of dollars to develop its domestic chip-making capabilities. But it's not that easy. China still lags in producing the most advanced chips. Enter the U.S. Chips and Science Act, a $52 billion initiative designed to bring chip manufacturing back to American soil. But it's not just about production, it's about maintaining a technological edge. Both countries understand that semiconductors are the oil of the digital era. Without control over the production of these chips, they risk falling behind in everything from AI and quantum computing to autonomous vehicles and advanced military systems. As the battle between the US and China intensifies, Taiwan, and by extension, TSMC has become a geopolitical flashpoint. Taiwan's strategic importance in the global semiconductor supply chain cannot be overstated. As the leading producer of advanced chips, Taiwan holds significant leverage over both the US and China. China views Taiwan as a breakaway province and has not ruled out the use of force to reunify it with the mainland. The US, on the other hand, has long supported Taiwan's autonomy, seeing it as a key ally in the Asia-Pacific region. The prospect of a Chinese invasion of Taiwan is no longer just a hypothetical scenario. It's a growing concern for policymakers around the world. The implications of a Chinese takeover of Taiwan would be immense. If China gained control of TSMC, it would effectively control the global semiconductor supply chain, giving it immense leverage over the US and its allies. Conversely, if a conflict were to disrupt TSMC's operations, it would send shockwaves through the global economy, leading to a catastrophic shortage of semiconductors. To mitigate this risk, the US has been increasing its military presence in the Asia-Pacific and deepening its alliances with countries like Japan and South Korea. At the same time, the U.S. is encouraging TSMC to invest in new manufacturing facilities on American soil, such as the $12 billion fab that TSMC is building in Arizona. Did you know? The Pentagon relies on TSMC for the advanced chips used in fighter jets and missile defense systems. In fact, the U.S. military's most advanced systems would be severely impacted by any disruption in TSMC's supply. 
The question on everyone's mind now is, who will lead the next phase of the semiconductor race? The US has a clear edge in chip design, with companies like Apple, Nvidia, and Qualcomm dominating the global market. But when it comes to manufacturing, Taiwan and South Korea reign supreme. China's leading chip maker, on the other hand, has reportedly produced a 7 nanometer chip. Still, that's two generations behind TSMC, which plans to roll out two nanometer chips by 2025. A chip so powerful it could make your iPhone last four days on a single charge. However, the race is far from over. With quantum computing, AI, and 5G poised to revolutionize industries, the demand for more powerful, energy-efficient semiconductors will only grow. And as the global demand for semiconductors grows, the stakes in this US-China tech cold war have never been higher. One company, TSMC, finds itself in the eye of the storm, controlling the technology that will define the 21st century. Whether